so greetings and welcome students in our today's online section of subject mechatronics we already started our chapter number 2 with name tata acquisition and signal conditioning today we are going to see the concept of tata acquisition in short we write it as taq okay so here we are Uh, so here this is the general mechatronic system you can see on your screen and here we are going to uh, study the data acquisition concept so here it is the complete system of mechatronics here the mechanic uh, physical phenomenon of uh, physical phenomenon and the computer software are interacting with each other which is it is actually the complete example of mechatronic system where the mechanical components or physical phenomenon comes in direct contact with the software computer application here okay so you can see on your screen uh, listen me all mechatronic system com consist of hardware components and computer software here you can see it is the mechatronic system of of fuel filling here you can see this is the uh, fuel filling nozzle and here it is the complete system of fuel filling and it is mechatronic system consists of software and hardware so it is the device which is hardware and it is software system here this mechatronic systems have mechanical and electrical phenomenon that are not in steady state electrical phenomenon means this signal conditioning then uh, this taq hardware Uh, all these are the electrical and electrical wires here which are used to transmit the signals the appropriate working of a system depends on certain events occurring in time and the parameter of variables okay the variable should be measured with a device that converts the phenomenon into a structure that a human can recognize the translation device are called transducer here you can see the uh, the sensors you may call the sensors as a transducer which converts the uh, physical phenomenon into a electrical signal or electrical phenomenon here this instruments can measure current voltage capacitor also variable can be observed in the real time so how this uh, transducer or sensor uh, or sensors are measure this uh, physical phenomenon and they convert this physical phenomenon into the signal and then send it to the software here then software uh, reads it and convert it into the uh, into digital signal and then by using this digital signal we can control the hardware here okay so here we are this physical signals are analogous or they or the digital yeah, they can be a motor they can be a relay so this physical system with the help of transducer we convert them into a signal then we condition this signal and up, uh, after converting this and uh, analogous signal into digital signal we send it to the computer then computer either change it to the binary language uh, and then by sending this binary signals to the daq here daq hardware we can control the actuator or output here okay so this is the interference of sensor or uh, to the data acquisition system again listen me following types of variables can be measured and record using the data acquisition system uh, the variables are force pressure temperature flow vibration mass density radiation rate quantity time all these are can be measured data acquisition system short form taq are electromechanical recorder containing channels are measure hundreds of variable simultaneously nowadays compute Computerized data acquisition system collects data with speed. Computer-based data acquisition system will record very accurate, repeatable, reliable, and error-free data. Okay. 
so here we are going to use this computer to record the data in data acquisition system if signals are too noisy so be changed to form a suitable for analysis the process of doing so called is signal conditioning signal condition me conditioning means to condition the signal uh, so that it will be used for a um, will be used for a purpose there signal conditioning includes amplification filtering converting and other processes required to make sensor output suitable for reading by control system here you can see uh, here uh, the example of load measurement system is taken here the strain gauge is used to measure the uh, measure the load or weight here so what is this load is uh, is actually measure a uh, sense with the help of this strain gauge you know what is strain gauge its resistance is decreases after applying the load so the change in uh, resistance of this strain gauge can be uh, calculated and we can calculate the load by using this strain gauge here so here what is strain gauge strain gauge it is a sensor which creates converts the load applied into the change in emf there so uh, this sensor here is connected to the uh, analog to digital converter where it is connected to the software here so uh, uh, here between this this amplifier then filter this sample and whole circuit all these three are the uh, components of signal conditioning so what is this amplification uh, i will explain you uh, all this in depth if the signals are too noisy so the change to form a suitable for analysis the process of doing is called signal conditioning signal conditioning includes amplification filtering and converting and other process required so here you can see this is the amplification then filtering then converting it to the uh, digital one all these terms are come along the signal conditioning data acquisition system is removing unwanted signal and limited the sense sensor spectrum here okay the proper designation uh, of signal conditioning system is critical and in mapping the sensor output to be data to be acquisition input so here we are having so we are going to study the steps in data acquisition system you can see on your screen the first step is the sensor measure the behavior of a system here you can see on this uh, diagram here we are using the strain gauge as a sensor which is using uh, measuring the behavior of the system means behavior in the change in load applied to the system the output from the sensor is conditioned here you can see the output of this strain gauge which is working as a sensor here is conditioned here condition means amplified filter then converting it to digital one the, uh, the output from the sensor is conditioned amplified filter etc the conditional analog signal is digitized using an analog to digital converter the digital information is acquired processed and recorded by the computer here the computer may then modify the system by outputting control signal the digital control signals are converted to analog signals using a digital to analog converter here you can see on this screen uh, here again finally this uh, continuous action is getting there so sometimes this digital to analog system converter is also used there last time we take example of this person speaking on the phone here we have this uh, component digital to analog converter the analog signals are conditioned example amplified and filter approximately for an actuator the actuator interacts with the system to give the desired response here you can see this is the actuator which is the nozzle uh, which is here actuator it is in the form of nozzle here which interacts with the system means it is physical phenomenon uh, resolution or bits and bit width so uh, importance in data acquisition resolution is again plays an important 
Tuck. Term here because using this uh, uh, resolution we are going to convert this analog to digital or digital to analog. So while reconstructing uh, the bits are plays important role because if the frequency of recorded is very less then we will not get the signal as the original one. We took this concept in the last section. Precia uh, preciousness of analog to digital conversion process is depend on the number of bits. So frequency of measurement or number of bits should be high. It should be more than or equals to two times the signal is to be reconstructed. The ADC of data acquisition system is used. The higher the resolution, the higher the number of division, the voltage range is broken into 2 raised to power and, and therefore the smaller detectable voltage change can be recorded. Then bit width and sample rate are also important in data acquisition system here. Uh, so here it is the load measurement system. I already uh, sees it that how this load measurement system works here we are have using the strain gauge as a sensor so as the load applied to the system we get uh, load uh, the strain gauge convert it into the change in emf now this change in emf is amplified then filter then it is converted to the digital form and then it is sent to the computer system or software where it is display on the screen that how much load is placed on this strain gauge here. Okay, so now we are going to see this important terms in the data acquisition system. First term is signal isolation. So signal isolation it is a technique for transmitting a signal from a source to a measuring instrument without requiring a physical link. So here this uh, we are going to measure directly uh, the load directly without physical contact with the load it is direct uh, it is placed on this uh, strain gauge and strain gauge sends the load here its frequency utilized to separate potential signal disturbance source that could otherwise follow the electrical path from the sensors to the processing circuitry in some cases it may be necessary to separate the sensor from the potentially costly equipment needed to process the data after conditioning uh, the next concept is signal filtering a uh, filtering it is a method of removing undesirable element or characteristics from a signal filtering is a type of signal processing that involves the total or partial suppression of one or more aspect of the signal typically this entails the removal of particular frequencies or frequency ranges because not all the signal frequency spectrum includes the meaningful data the most frequency signal conditioning function is filtering so during this signal filtering we only use the we filter the unwanted data and only keep the data which is we are going to use then amplification sometimes sometimes the output from this here you can see sometimes the output from this uh, sen sensor is very small so it cannot be recognized by the uh, uh, by the software so uh, it is important to amplify it amplify means here we are going to increase its magnitude so signal amplification serves two purpose it improves the signal's resolution and raises the signal to noise ratio for example an electronic temperature sensor output which is most likely in millivolt range is likely too low for an analog to digital converter to process directly in this situation the voltage level must be increased to meet the analog to digital converter here by using this amplification we are going to increase the output of this sensor so that it will be measured by the analog to digital converter then signal conditioning is an important part all metatronic system consists of hardware components and computer software this metatronic system are <coughs> How this metatronic system have mechanical and electrical phenomena that are in steady state. The measurable 
R stand for the characteristics of all system are called variables. The appropriate working of a system depends on certain events occur in time and the parameter of variable. The variable should be measured with a device that converts the phenomenon into structure that a human can recognize. There is a need to record store data and analyze data using the data acquisition system. Data acquisition system are electromechanical recorder containing the channel to measurement hundred of variable simultaneously. Physical processes such as temperature or pressure is measured by a sensor or transducer. The analog signal heads toward the data acquisition system if the signals are too noisy so the change to a to form a suitable for analysis. The process of doing this is signal conditioning. Signal conditioning includes amplification, filter, filtering, converting and other process required to make sensor output suitable for reading by control system. I will explain this concept of signal conditioning. The uh, data acquisition system is removing unwanted signals and limiting the sensor spectrum. Okay. So now we are going to see this uh, applications of this data acquisition system in industrial industries. So So first one is electronic factories or electronic industries. Electronics, chem electrical, chemical, mechanical, food, energy, refinery, medical and other sectors all utilize data gathering systems. Some instances are uh, you can uh, see mostly are electronic factories to gather the test data from products, circuit boards, calibrated electronics equipments and process calibration histories. Then again in, uh, in boiler monitoring. Uh, they are used to monitor the temperature and pressure of boiler as well as the state of switch uh, gears in power plants. Uh, the acquisition system also used in the chemical processes to, uh, to increase the speed or to stop its uh, change its some parameter there of this chemical processes. Uh, they are also used in the scientific lab to gather the data from an experiment and plot the results in graph or even to automated analysis of the curve. Uh, then in case uh, in food in the food processing such as they are used to monitor the temperature in refrigerator of warehouse to ensure the frozen food is always kept below the appropriate temperature. Uh, then again in automobile manufacturing automation sectors employees portable data longer to track their vehicles performed during the road test where the data is gathered by a peripheral type data acquisition system and transmitted back to the host computer over least telephonic lines in remote unattended weather station. Uh, some other example can be data logging pressure gauges, then digital flow meters, then magnetic flow meters, vortex flow meter, ultrasonic flow meters. All these are the data acquisition system example. Okay, so students, so today we are stopping here. In the next section, we will see about this uh, digital to analog converter. We are having this uh, R to R converter, uh, then successive uh, successive approximation register type analog digital converter. This is important concept. We will talk in the tomorrow section, then we will see some numericals of this unit. Okay. So here we are going to stop. See you tomorrow. Thank you.